When it comes to cost savings, a lot of public fleets are struggling to find new places to reduce spending. Meanwhile, there's not a lot of drive to reduce costs in the private sector right now. So where are there opportunities for cost reduction uh, in fleets today? A lot of organizations are still picking up the pieces of their broken fleet replacement programs following the global financial crisis. A lot of organizations severely curtailed replacement spending in 2010, 2011, and, um, and now are trying to uh, fix uh, their aging fleets. Um, some organizations have been more proactive in, in that respect than others. Uh, some were able to weather that storm pretty well because they had instituted effective um, replacement practices. So in terms of cost savings, uh, a lot of organizations, particularly in the public sector, have painted themselves into a corner in the sense that they've developed these very large backlogs of replacement needs and um, spending their way out of those backlogs by purchasing vehicles outright with cash is not an option, so they have to look at alternatives like leasing or debt financing, uh, which are forms of capital financing that we've always been strong proponents of. I think whether the economy is good or bad, our view has always been that purchasing vehicles outright with, with cash creates certain kinds of decisions and behaviors that aren't you know, sound economically in the long term. So, um, and again, I would say that in, in, the, in the private sector, we're just not seeing a really strong drive to reduce costs right now. I think, I think a lot of fleet owners are pretty comfortable uh, where they are. Obviously that will change when the next recession comes around. You need a good recession every eight years or so to blow the cobwebs out of an industry, right? So, uh, I mean, we're all enjoying, um, you know, the stock market and doing great over the last six months, and we all hope that will continue for the sake of our retirements. Um, but uh, the reality is that when the economy does turn, which it will eventually, that will uncover a lot of additional opportunities for improvement and cost reduction that, frankly, I think a lot of organizations are just not very focused on right now.